guys, welcome back to Game of Dupe Discussions. Today we are going to be discussing the Xbox Series X event that just occurred uh, for us at 2am, lucky us. Mm. <laughs> Yes. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we were up nice and bright and early. Mm. And um, we watched the entire event. We, we did a couple of trailer reaction videos. We didn't do them uh, for, for all of them. Alrighty, so, obviously, we started with Halo. Nice. Uh, we, Halo Infinite, we had some gameplay. Yep. Um, Nick, what'd you think? <laughs> Sipped a tea door. <laughs> oh, look, it, I, I thought it was fine for what it was. I think... Um, from a visual standpoint, it mm. looked good in its cutscenes. And when we got into gameplay, kind of didn't look as next gen as you'd want it to. But you know what? Yeah. Like, I don't know what they're doing in development. I don't know if it's a really big, ambitious open world game and they had to sacrifice some graphical stuff. But yeah, for me, mm. especially with the character at the end, like um, like the, 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 the like the, like the fan, yeah, the, the bad guy. yeah, the yeah, the ba the big baddie at the end, mm. it looked looked a little bit like rubber mouth kind of like character. But okay. the gameplay looks. Like Halo, looks solid. The lighting was fine. I think okay. it looked cool. Yeah. You were a bit more positive, Dad, yeah? You, yeah, you, you I liked it, it a lot. I thought it looked really beautiful. I thought um, they did a good job of making the world feel a bit more alive. Other than just the nasty boys that you fight, there's, you know, like mm. creatures that are actually moving and mm. flowing in the world. And, um, yeah, I really like how the guns looked. Um, it looked very smooth. Very smooth gameplay from what I could see. Yeah, like, I can understand both sides. Like, I... I have been surfing the webs mm -hmm. and people are mixed like some people like I uh, pointing out I, I really dislike when people take a screenshot of a game and post like a zoomed in screenshot focusing on textures because I think you could do that a lot of games you know what I mean oh yeah you could do that to Ghost of Tsushima but if you take the broader experience of that I think it is one of the best looking games of the generation right mm. but um but this is I don't really like that but for, for me I thought it looked I thought it looked uh, good yeah. I, I wanted mm. to be blown away by Halo Infinite, and look, I think we should preface this. I don't think any of the three of us are Xbox people. So if you if you think our opinion holds that much weight in the Xbox realm, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't anywhere, but especially not no. Xbox. So I don't. I'm not very versed in Halo. Yeah. So I, like yeah. I didn't play the last the last couple, right? Mm. But um, I, I was excited for Infinite. I like this idea of what it seems to be like a soft reboot mm. in, in essence, right? Yeah. It's called Infinite. It seems like they're kind of going to just keep updating it, like more of like a, I know they're saying not live service, but that's the only thing I compare it to right now, like a Destiny-like mm. game, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, I expected it to be more open and things like that. And it, it looks like what I expected, but just maybe a little less than, but not that it's bad. I think it looks good. I, I think the game looks good here. Mm. The gunplay looks fun. I like the idea of a more open Halo. It looks more back to basics from the vibe that I'm getting and from what I've seen yeah, in Halo. Yeah, back to basics, yeah. Yeah, like I've watched Halo before. And... I think that the um, although people may have issues with the visual, like aesthetic of the game, mm. I do think that the art direction here is more solid than I've seen in the last couple. It's less yeah, cluttered. Yeah. It's more. I hope Back they don't get annoyed, ones. but more Breath of the Wild than super sci-fi techy. Mm. And I think that when you're making an open world game, it is important to focus on artistic. Uh, look and you don't get visual clutter, right? Yes. It, you know, clarity mm. in, in your environments and your level design is important. Yeah, visual clutter can make it even more difficult to, mm. for a, a shooting game, like a yeah. first person shooter, but, you get distracted. Definitely. Thing. And like in the, like, as I said, it's like an original, it's like a, you know, back to basics, it's back to form. A lot of people online have said as well, like you can see videos of people comparing the original game to like, the modern, yes. the modern games, and there's a like the original game was less visually cluttered and actually clear and decisive of what mm. you're shooting at, and like this yeah. looks like for, for like for like the most positive thing I can say about it, like there's a lot of positives about it, but it, it it's clear. There's not crazy amounts of stuff going on. You can yeah. see what you're shooting. Like it seems clear and cut. You, utilizing enemy, yeah, yeah, utilizing yeah, like, uh, minimal colors in, yeah. in certain areas to vis make it all visually distinct. But I like the gunplay here, and that looks good. I, obviously, you need to get your hands on something like this. But for the most mm. part, the gunplay looks good. And at the end of the day, it that does. is the main thing here. Oh, yeah. And also, we're, not, we're looking at the campaign here. We're not looking at mm. um, the multiplayer, which yeah. is a big factor in Halo. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I liked it. I, I wasn't blown away. But, but from what I've seen of Halo, it looks kind of... I, from the discourse that I'd heard, they want it kind of to go back to basics Halo, back to like the what worked in the beginning of it. And to me, this kind of looks like that, but yeah. uh, I can see a little bit of disappointment. Maybe that's probably people that don't like Xbox or Halo just trying to nitpick at the game. But as I said, I'm not saying that it isn't valid. I do mm. think it was a little 
a little underwhelming on the visual standpoint, especially when we're trying to sell next-gen consoles. But yeah. when we get into overall thoughts, mm. I, I'll, I'll kind of give my impressions as to why I don't think anything's in, in the first party Xbox line is going to stand out too much. Yeah. No. And I think that that's necessarily not necessarily the problem with this game. More so is I think it's everything's coming to Game Pass, and I think you're gonna have they're going to sacrifice mm. some things. You know, I don't think you're going to get the Sony big offerings drop. here. Yeah. 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 And but look, but I said I can could be completely wrong, and people can correct me in the comments. But that's just kind yeah. of my vibe. But I thought it looked good. I. I I would definitely give it a shot. We're picking the Xbox Series X yeah. and, and yeah, yeah. the PlayStation 5 up we'll get them uh, both. launch, hopefully. We're getting, so, we're getting the fridge and the router. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, get, we're getting them both. Yeah. And um, I'll, I'll play this. It looked fun. I like mm. the idea of a more open Halo. I like that they're adding things like a hook shot and stuff. And it yeah. didn't show anything crazy new, but I liked what I saw for the yeah. most part. But um, yeah. but yeah, that, that's it for me. Uh, uh, holiday, holiday release or launch. Yep. Uh, day and date with the Xbox Series X, but you can also play it on the Xbox One. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I think so. I think they pretty much touted that every game you can, but then there was some weird logistics. Xbox always gets me because they're like, launch exclusive, launch console exclusive, launch window exclusive, holiday 2020, Xbox One X Series exclusive. There's a lot of that, isn't there? But I'm I'm pretty sure it's on Xbox One and Xbox Series Uh X. Okay. And it is launching day and date with Games Pass, I believe. Mm Mm-hmm. So that's exciting. I'm excited. Um, I want to see a bit more. I definitely don't think it was this killer showing, like, um, like a game like when God of War come out or something like that. Which it, I it only, didn't have that impact. Yeah, like, I only uh, compared to that because it, I just kind of rings to my mind because they're mm. both like kind of soft reboots in a weird way. But as I said, yeah. it may not be. I'm not caught up in the. Uh, like Halo versus well, the lore and stuff. Yeah, yes. but no, I, I, I mean, not as of very recently. But when I was younger, I grew up playing a lot of Halo. But I, I definitely think that that this isn't anything shocking or like a wow factor. But it just looks nice and it looks cool. Oh yeah, yeah. there's no debate. There's no debating it looks nice. But like that's the thing. It's like this. This is the Xbox Series X. I'm like. I Xbox One. Yeah, it wants to be the system seller. But as I, yeah. I, I also stand by, the, like I always say, like I don't think graphics make a game. You can, yeah. they you, don't. you know they what I mean? Like, yeah. If this gunplay feels mm. amazing, then oh yeah. Like mm. look, look at Knack. You know that was a system. <laughs> Master Chief in these cutscenes look fantastic. He I think Master Chief looks good. in these cutscenes. I, I still yeah. think the game looks good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I think I'm just talking like playing Devil's Advocate for a bit. I can understand a bit of people being underwhelmed. But at the same time, like I don't think things are going to live up to the Unreal Engine 5 demo, necessarily. Right. No, I think yeah. Hellblade's going to look impressive, so keep an eye out for oh, that. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, but that's pretty much it. Any other thoughts on Halo? We'll probably do a discussion in the future when we get a bit, we'll get a bit more ingrained in the Halo yeah. franchise. And if you guys have some things to let us know about Halo Infinite or just the Halo franchise in general, what to get us excited or what you were disappointed with, let us know because we're not too versed in Halo. But mm. um, yeah. then we jump into something that I, I was pretty excited by, I guess, as State of Decay 3. Uh, cinematic yeah. trailer um i thought this was an odd one i was really taken back by it it has no date on it and i think this yeah. is just kind of a trailer dump right yeah i think it's exciting but it's like a cg it's kind of the thing that i i think people are getting sick of nowadays which is like we don't want cg trailers we kind of mm. just want to to see the game yeah we're gonna see it, gameplay yeah. i feel like uh it, it's been something that burns you a bit too many times where you see these cg trailers they look amazing but the game never ends up mm. coming out and like, we've seen state of, decay, yeah. state of decay 2 did have a lot of problems uh, like yeah visually it didn't it doesn't look like that for sure the, the trailer but look you know cg trailers never do realistically of course, of but, course. but but sometimes yeah. if they only just show cg and not gameplay that makes fans worried that oh is this game ever going to see the light of day at all yeah yeah, yeah definitely oh state of k3 that's why i was surprised to see him like is this just a can we get a cg trailer mm. for name recognition but the game's not gonna be out for like what 2022 mm. you know also, what i mean like if you can hear some naughty banging we've got red in the room and he's being really he's naughty being, he's a naughty he's our naughty cat <laughs> naughty boy. Uh, and then um i wrote i got my notes here. so philly philly does come out and he says all games will be on xbox game pass at the show yes yeah i think that's what, he, that's what i wrote here yeah i love a bit of phil spencer He's, he's, he's like the epitome of a dad. But then mm. they talk about bad. Forza Motorsport. Oh, quickly, Nick, do you have any thoughts to say? Okay, you're not into the franchise, are you? They, um, awesome, awesome trailer. Uh, it was a cool, yeah. it was a cool, um, it was a cool parallel seeing like a herbivore, like a herbivore eating like a, a, a like a dead wolf. Oh, yeah, you know, that was yeah, really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah you know the I mean? like, eating the predator. Yeah, praise eating the predator. That was really cool, actually. Yeah, like, I, I also was taken back by yeah, that. The, yeah, the, the, cool. the infected deer. Like, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, like, like you and Jade are saying, CG trailer, what the game's going to look like, don't know. Yeah, Who like knows? it's yeah. They're, they're, they're two different. They're very yeah. far removed to an extent, which exactly. is kind of like, you know, what, what do you feel about yeah. that? It, but but yeah, and then they did Forza Motorsport announce. I only wrote Forza Motors- Motorsport announce because I believe that's just what it's called. Yeah, I think so. I think that's I what, don't that's think what it was a tag. Saying. I'm not 
a Forza player, I know that the games are great. Mm. They look ridiculous visually. Like, I, I, it's, they're stunning to me. They did it on Xbox One, though. Like, they oh, looked yeah. amazing yeah, yeah. on Xbox One. And I believe these are the open world racing games. I don't know if they're all open world. I think Forza Horizon is open world. Okay. And then Forza Motorsport, maybe not. But but this is, I think this is by Playground Games, who are really talented. And they're also doing something that we'll get to later, later. at the mm-hmm. end of the show. But yeah, this looked awesome. Yeah. Uh, so but, uh, hyper-realistic. It, it's oh, crazy. Yeah. Graphics are disgustingly good. <laughs> like, they, they look so good. It but, looks great. But also, I, I will kind of like tailor back around at the end. I do believe that uh, Xbox is kind of doing a different thing here, and it ties into Halo Infinite isn't called Halo 6. Uh, this isn't called Forza Motorsport like no. 7. Mm. They kind of seem like they're going... They're going to keep updating these games on Game Pass and, and keep giving more and into these. And the, something at the end the, as well isn't yeah. called like f- yes, five or four. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah. it seems like that maybe they're not soft reboots, but more so they're going to become these games that continue to get added on to, you know? But mm. but then we jump into. Oh, what did you guys think about Forza Motorsport? Sorry. It looks fantastic. I get like yeah, graphics. It's nice. I, I, I never really play those sport games. Maybe in an arcade I do, but not hmm. on my consoles. They've always been solid controls and solid gameplay. Like. Oh, yeah. Four, so they've been like they're like up there with Gran Turismo, right? Or do they beat Gran Turismo? I think recently they have. Gran Turismo hasn't been amazing lately, right? Eh. Maybe someone told me that Gran Turismo is a better one. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't play the car racing games. Yeah. And then we got Everwild, which I, I like the trailer a lot. This is Rare's new game. I like Rare a lot. Mm. I think they had a bit of a miss with Sea of Thieves, but from what I've heard is that they've turned it around and it's a good game now, like a la No Man's Sky. Yeah. So I thought it was really cool. Some cute little boys. Yeah. And, and some and, big and boys. Yeah, some big boys and stuff. Very but um, pretty. Yeah, I like this. Mm. I'm excited. I'll definitely give it a shot. I like things that Rare did banjo back in the day. So that's yeah. yeah. But um, what did you think about this one, Nick? Um, it looks interesting enough. It'd be interesting to see what the gameplay is like mm-hmm. and like what you're doing as well. You kind of like spiritual witches kind of bringing like the spirits mm. back to life and stuff like it was interesting enough to see but yeah i was just like mm. i wonder what the gameplay is gonna be like or what you have to do in the game as well i think I it's wonder. i think it's like an exploration type vibe yeah reminds me a bit like uh like you know maybe going and cleansing the world sort of vibe you know those kind of games that. like a kenna it reminds me of kenna from playstation uh, yeah. 5 yeah. i got, got kenna vibes yeah, yeah but what about you jade yeah no it's got this like storybook visuals it's mm. very very uh, fable esque, like a like a yeah. fable story time book. It still has a. It looks like Sea of Thieves, right? Yeah, it's like still it has got the Sea of Thieves aesthetic, yeah. that, you know, yeah. like which isn't a bad thing. I thought Sea of Thieves actually looked quite pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's I just got think that, that cool like paintbrush. Mm. Yeah, it's a look. distinct art style. Yeah, Sea of Thieves was fun, but like it, it just at, at launch it was a bit bare bones, right? Yeah. Mm. So like it had it had cool ideas. I think being a pirate and hanging out and getting drunk with your mouth <laughs> with your buds is is a really cool idea, yeah, but yeah. but I just don't. Apparently it's good now though, so as people can tell That's us in the it. comments. Yeah. Then we jump into Tell Me Why, which was a new announcement. Why? It's an episodic adventure game by Don't Nod Studios or Don't Nod, and they do Life is Strange. So as you can tell, it looks like Life okay, is Strange. So they, right? so they do Life is Strange. I was, I was wondering. I think that. so. I think that yeah, Don't Nod yeah. Studios do Life is Strange. Um, a lot of people love Life is Strange and these kind of games. Uh, they're not really my vibe. I, I, I. I don't really mesh with these. A lot of these games up until this point haven't been my vibe, unfortunately. Mm. But I think they all look relatively good, like, right? But um, this is interesting. Episode 1 comes out on August 27th. What did you think, Jade? Yeah, um, I mean, it's always kind of a slightly negative sign to me when they come in chapters. Yeah, uh, That's just my only worry. Mm. But I did watch all of... Uh, uh, why am I blanking? You, we Life is Strange. Life is yeah. Strange. We right. literally just said it. Sorry. Um, I watched, uh, not played it myself, but I watched a full playthrough. Mm-hmm. And it was interesting. But um, but yeah, like it, it, I don't want them to drag it on too long. But I also don't want them to make too many short chapters and s- sell them like yeah. in se- sequence. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a hard line to tiptoe. So Yeah, that's been hit or miss, right? Walking mm-hmm. Dead nailed it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they started it. They did really good with Wolf Among Us and stuff. But you see so many things that dip into maybe not episodic, but trying to be more episodic yeah. in nature, whether you see the Dark Pictures anthology. And it's a hard sort of line Very to hit hard. with quality, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It, it, I just, I, I always get a bit more standoffish when it's an episodic thing. And do people dip off when the episodes keep going, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, so that's Hitman, everyone was Hitman on board. started doing episodic and I think oh, they I ditched it. I remember that, yeah. yeah. I'm not too sure though, but what do you think about this, Nick? 
yeah, it looks interesting enough. It's, it's still nice that they make games like this, you know what I mean? Like a nice mm. story-driven game. And there's a market for it. And like you said, a lot of people would like to watch this on live stream. Mm, or yeah, YouTube. I, I watch people streaming. Well, yeah. you yeah. make it's, choices, it's some, right? Yeah, well, yeah. It's, I feel like it's something you want to watch with like a group of people or yeah. watch yeah. Uh, watch your favorite YouTuber play this, you know what I mean? What decisions like, do they make? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's, it's still nice people can be creative and make these kind of games. Mm. Not my kind of thing, but there is a market for it. Yeah, I think yeah. They, they do well. Yeah. Like, and they did a one with a boy. Yeah, recently. I the forget Wonder what that's called. Yeah, but, but like I think that was a cape, prequel. Cool. Cape and stuff. It was yes, like linked yes, to like exactly. a strange, I believe. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, I thought it looked very pretty. Uh, like uh, in that kind of art style that it is, and, mm. and people like those kind of games. But um, then we jump into Ori and the Will of the Wisps is coming in 120 frames per second. Crazy. But um, yeah, I didn't even know 120 frames. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that existed. Yeah, yeah. since when? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they invented at Moon Since Studios. Today. Yeah. yeah, today. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like Ori. I like the franchise a lot. Mm. Uh, this is, I, I played uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and it was a great game. Yeah. Uh, I, I won't play it again because I played too many other things. But for people that haven't, that's awesome. What do you guys? What do you think about this, Nick? You haven't played them. I haven't played I think them. You probably enjoy, you like Hollow Knight and stuff, and this uh, is yeah, a kind yeah. of similar vibe. Night. It's a very Hollow Knight. Yeah, I loved Hollow Knight. But uh, yeah, it was it was uh, interesting to see it side by side, like the frame rate comparison as well. Mm. Like it actually runs a lot smoother than what yeah. you can see from the sixty frames per second. Then we jump into something that is new, which is Elder Wilds is getting DLC called Peril of Gorgon, Whoa. released in September 9th, and it's the first of two expansions. Um, I didn't love Outer Worlds. Sorry, I said I said Outer Wilds. Oh, it yeah, was you did. Outer, yeah. Worlds. Outer, 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 Outer Worlds. Worlds. There you go. There we go. And I didn't love Outer Worlds. I, I, I've never been the kind of gamer that meshes with those kind of games. Mm. But um, I thought it was good. And I know people did like it. It got nominated for Game of Year. Yeah, so yeah. People clearly liked it. Mm. And um, more content is cool for that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm usually into this kind of vibe, mm. but I didn't find myself too drawn to it. I think mm. it was this jarring mix of this kind of old school versus nude, new school, which I know has been done a lot of times. But <laughs> nude school? Yeah, I was like, Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> new school. Nude school. Um, but I, which I know has been done like a lot of times, but this one just felt a bit like, I, I don't know, like it just took what's been done before and just kind of made it bigger i'm sorry if that's a hot i take. think it was smaller actually oh really yeah oh, okay yeah i think it was smaller and more yeah. like they tried to make it like a it's like a smaller version of a fallout yeah that's yeah. what i get vibes from but I'm it's just... a smaller team yes yes they, these guys did the fallout new vegas the smaller dlc for yeah. fallout mm-hmm. so like that's kind of the vibe. they focus more on characters and stuff and i think they do better character writing and then stories but yeah yeah I just didn't find myself as drawn to it as I initially thought I would be when mm. I first saw the release. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I, I, I agree. Like, it didn't hit 100% for me either. Mm. Mm. But, but yeah, getting into Grounded now, which has kind of been floating around. I'm not 100% if that game has been out before or I had demos before, but I feel like I've seen gameplay of it a lot. But this is that uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibe game. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, and it's by yeah. Obsidian, so the same people that yeah. do Outer Worlds. And um, it looks cool. They made a funny dig at, well, not a dig, a, a hyped up Praise. cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, it looks cute. I definitely would try this kind of game. It is that kind of weird game that I would enjoy. It reminds yeah. me of like childhood kind of games and mm. stuff. Reminds like me that. of kind of like Toy Soldiers or something. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Or like, Bugs Life. Yeah, yeah. Bugs Life. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Or the PS1 Bugs Life. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like it. It's like survival sim. And I yeah. like the crafting element and yeah. stuff, like the building and crafting yeah. element. I could definitely imagine a, a, like a group of YouTubers, like YouTubers who have like five, six people in their in their squad in their group. Do, Put me at five, six subs, this. like uh, no, oh, damn. <laughs> um, do this, like like the Venus team or something. I could yeah. totally imagine them picking this up and doing that. Just having a fun time. Yeah, like it may fun. not get the best reviews, but it's like that yeah. kind of silly yeah. fun. And it, it definitely with its uh, with its trailer was really silly and fun as well. Yeah, which I appreciate. I thought that was a bit lighthearted and fun. I like it. I actually yeah. like it. I think it's a unique kind of thing. Mm. I think it's really cool. I want to kill some ants. <laughs> Who doesn't want to just stomp ants? Oh, yeah. Ants oh, yeah. suck. Ants do But the ants suck. can stomp you in this one. Yeah, and then we see battle toads in there. Yeah, I saw the battle toad. Yeah, yeah that was cool. He's a battle toad. He was like a battle gnome. Battle but, um, gnome. Then we got Avowed, which is another new Obsidian game, but this one got me excited. So this is a really cool trailer, and this is like Obsidian now tackling a sort of Elder Scrolls Skyrim type vibe with like a mm-hmm. medieval open world game. But um, but yeah, that's exciting to me. So they 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 have done Fallout New Vegas and things like that. But now they're doing a medieval like swords and swords and magic kind of vibe. Yeah, like yeah. Skyrim, yeah, it kind of had like a Skyrim, Skyrim. Skyrim mixed with like a Doctor Strange. He's like making all the symbols or yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. I thought it looked cool, right? Mm-hmm. What did you guys think about this? We don't know much about it, granted. Like, yeah. I, like this is like coming out in twenty twenty nine. 
<laughs> but <laughs> but it looked cool, right? Yeah, it was one of those mm. really obscure trailers, and the the skeleton went poof. Yeah, and like the arrow going through like all the areas. I thought it was Age of Empires for a split second. <laughs> oh, okay. like I thought we we're getting, I thought we we're getting more like info on like the new Age of Empires. Is that already come out yet? I don't know. I don't know. But but yeah. I, I love how it lit up like an entire cave, one arrow like lit yeah, up the entire. Yeah, I, was, I remember that. I was like, yeah, what? it's pretty bizarre. But yeah. but look, I thought it was a cool trailer though. And it's just a trend. Like, I don't think this is indicative of the game, besides yeah, setting and, yeah. and, and, like, you'll mm. see skeletons and sword and magic, but... It, it won't look just like this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Like, I don't think so, but... I know. And they could, they could shock me. Yeah. They could, but I don't think so. But, yeah, other than that, though, I think it's cool. I definitely keep an eye on it. There's not too much to say about it. We probably won't see it for another six years. But other than that, though, <laughs> it looked pretty cool, right? Yeah. And then we had As Dusk Falls... Which had a trailer announcement, which was kind of like an indie game, uh, like a bit of a bizarre one, right? Yeah. It's like a really inter, like an interactive drama novel. Yes, yes. Yeah, That's yeah. How they described it. Yeah. yeah, it looked cool. I like seeing these kind of things. Um, whether I play it or not depends on the time of release and things like that. But you know what? If there's Game Pass, I might try everything. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if they're all coming true. to Game Pass, you, thing, you yes. might as well try them. That's true. That's true. And that's probably what they're banking mm. on with giving these indie. Mm. Um, developers like a, a chance to be just grabbed at by new eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a little weird, it's a little jarring to me. Like the characters, like they're just like sketches of real humans. Mm. So when they're looking at the screen, it looks like they're looking at me playing the game. Like yeah. <laughs> just sitting yeah. on my couch, I'm like, oh, it's really jarring. But but it looks cool enough. Like it's a unique idea, and I like the color color palettes and things. Mm. It depends on like it, it has to have a good story. That's what I mean. I was about to say, I thought the story has to be good to warrant this kind of really slow. Sh- moving art styles like how right. long can we if it's not interesting how long can we deal with that you know what I mean like I feel like it could be really kind of slow and boring but if, right. the, if but if the story is good enough it'll hook you I you think know what I mean? it's, it's like an interactive be, storybook yeah I think it'll be m- mostly focused on the story because yeah like you said yeah. like I, I think it literally looks to me like a visual book <laughs> that's what yes. I mean yeah, so yeah it's like if the story is not good I don't think this game's really got much going on <laughs> like right. you know what I mean it's like, no I agree yeah. I agree I'm interested but you know mm. we, we'll, we'll see when it comes out we'll try <laughs> but um, then we got to the disappointing part they talked about Hellblade 2, but they didn't show it. We wanted to see Hellblade they 2. Nothing. Oh, we didn't. Yeah. But they talked about, look, we got it. We know we know it's set in Iceland. Yeah. They said Iceland, yes. I got Iceland yeah. in my Iceland. notes. Yeah. And it's using the Unrender of 5. Mm-hmm. And I was so excited. I thought this was the one that was going to blow people away. And obviously, they're not ready. But I trust Team... Uh, is it Ninja Theory? I think it's Ninja yeah, Theory. Ninja yeah. Theory. Yeah. yeah, I trust Ninja Theory. I loved, loved Hellblade 1. I'm so excited. And um, mm-hmm. I can't wait to g- get more Hellblade 2. But what, do you, what did you guys think? We didn't get much here. But mm. just t- tell the people your thoughts on Hellblade 2 and how excited you are. <laughs> Pretty excited. It's gonna, I, I like to say, even it's got the Unreal Engine like mm. 5 as well. Mm. It's going to be really cool. And it's cool to see the locales they used as well. Yeah. Like, you know, like they mm. announced it was Iceland. Like, I don't know if... Was Death Stranding Icelandic? Yeah. It was America, like, American Icelandic. Yeah, say so yeah, re- both. Re- <laughs> rebuild American Iceland. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's like I'm, I'm, ha- I'm excited to see more of them visuals and like landscapes. Yeah. It was breathtaking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, lucky enough to have been to Iceland before, and uh, yeah, um, I'm very excited yeah. to see some, some visuals of that in this game. That'll be crazy. Yeah, Hellblade Two is gonna be awesome, and yeah. I think Ninja Theory, uh, Microsoft picking them up was a really good steal. Smart, smart. They're, move. they're a really talented uh, development team. I'm very excited to see what they do with Hellblade Two. Yeah. yeah, but um, then we jump into probably one of the best trailers, right? Psychonauts two. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> looked awesome, right? So psychedelic. Good. They yeah. got Blackjack. Yeah, and he's back, Jack Black. He's Jack, back, yeah. Jack Black. Yeah. yeah, he's playing Blackjack. Yeah, and um, yeah, it looked really good. Right? Really it's cool. like psychedelic. It like has like a seventies vibe or sixties vibe, right? They, but they just could not stop. Sh- just announcing that they have Jack Black. Yeah, <laughs> we saw Jack Black they like just 16 showing times. Him sing, yeah. Dog, they're like, dogs, they love Jack Black. They're like, look, we got Jack Black. I'm like, I get it. For okay. a little bit, when they got Jack Black up, I thought they were going to announce a Brutal Legend 2. Well, I was like, that'd be cool, right? I thought it was a bit, a bit Brutal Legends when he lifted the guitar above his head. Yeah. Like, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought they were yeah. going to do a Brutal Legend. I was like, oh my God, they're doing Brutal Legend 2. That's crazy. But um, I'll, and it's a, I'll show you after. It's a really fun game. Yeah, it, kind of, it was very niche, but it was cool. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. But but yeah, Jack Black doing some songs and stuff for mm. Psychonauts. No date, which was a bit disappointing. That was yeah. so weird. I was mm. I was literally, you might have seen at the end of my uh, reaction, I was just like, and 
No? Where's, where's the date? Okay. Yeah. No. But, um, not even like a, a year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's worrying. But yeah, it looks really good though. Yeah, right? Gamepad yeah. Game looks fun as well. Like, yeah. yeah. It's really fun in Wimper School. Yeah. There's nothing quite like Psychonauts, right? Oh, no. God, yeah. Yeah, I haven't played it for years, but I have it on Steam. And mm. um, yeah, I played it many years ago. Mm. But yeah, I love the vibe. I love the like all the colors they're using and stuff. It's wacky. I think it's going to be super good. Mm. But, um, but yeah, then we got Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Which is a Destiny 2 expansion coming in, I think it was November 9th. Is that what they said? No. Um, let me double check that information. I don't want to give it, give the people the wrong info. Uh, more Destiny stuff, right? Destiny 2, still people play it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool. People like Destiny. I, I played Destiny 2 for a bit. It, it's a fun game. These live service games just really aren't for me, though. Mm-hmm. What do you guys feel about it? Oh, wait. November uh, 10th. Nice. Sorry. One day off. One day, One day off. <laughs> um, yeah, I've actually never played uh, any Destiny mm. game. Sorry. Okay. Well, your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. Nick, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Look, it look, it, it looked cool, and I think the people who play it will be excited about it. But just yeah, not me. Like like I said, me, me and Jordan played them. We played online together. Yeah. It just wasn't really our our thing. Yeah. But yeah. The people who play it, I'm happy for them. It looks cool. Yeah, good. Look, Halo Infinite looks a lot like Destiny. It does. Yeah. But more my speed. But but yeah. yeah. Anyway, it looks more sci-fi techy, like lasery. Yeah. yeah, Destiny yeah. is more lasery sci-fi techie. Yeah. Halo's more boots on the ground. Looks like it's going back to yeah. boots on the ground. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that more. Definitely. But um, then we got a surprise. Stalker 2 announced. Yeah, um, you were like, what the heck? I, get, I, I, was, I remember I was just whispering. Uh, Jade was watching, so we would do, we had the uh, camera on, but I was like in my head, uh, out, just softly. I was like, Stalker 2. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, is this Stalker? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it was really cool to see that announcement. I know that... It's a very obscure one, but it's really cool to see it. Yeah, and um, how you... many years has it been? And since, what, what was like, the awesome? original Stalker? I don't. I'm not. I'm not knowledgeable on Stalker. What, I'll what, show what you after. It? It's a really weird. It's kind of like um, I'm trying to think of a game to compare it to. Uh, so obviously you got like Chernobyl vibes here. Yeah, and stuff. that's It's what very I, Metro. I thought at the start okay. that like it was going to be yeah, like some yeah. kind of Chernobyl game. Like more horror and like cerebral than like a Metro. Like like, but yeah. Look, someone in the comments can give. It's hard to give a comparison on the spot. Mm-hmm. I'll show you it after. No worries. But it is the it's soccer is a cool game franchise. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited to see more of it. I'm excited to see gameplay, but we didn't get that here. But yeah. But I don't know how far along it is. But um. One that you can speak on, Nick, is we got Warhammer Dark Tide, and I wrote here that it's by the developers of Vermintide, which yeah, did the, yeah. the other sort of shooter one that was like four player co op and yeah, had yeah, the yeah. big rats and big, big juicy yeah, rats. All, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Now, all, all the scaven, yeah. yeah. big swole rats. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about this one, Nick? It looked, you, in, it looked interesting, actually. It looked, hmm. it looked pretty cool. I originally thought like it had something to do with like uh, Tyranids or something, like, the, like they're like the alien kind hmm. of race, but it was like these zombie. Like, zombie kind of creatures it looked really interesting actually yeah yeah well, I, I, think, actually, I actually want to give that a go well, Vermintide was apparently really good Vermintide I, I would want to get on Vermintide as well actually like, yeah like, really a, cool. like the, the Warhammer Fantasy stuff or like the Age of Sigma stuff is actually pretty interesting yeah yeah it's got a good story to it but yeah so uh, this is I assume going to be in the same vein as mm. Vermintide like a four that shows four, four soldiers going down like these tunnel areas fighting these sort of like zombie yeah, infected type things so that that's exciting um not a, like uh, we should go. We should go back over these after, and I'll talk about console exclusivity and things. So if mm-hmm. you make it to the end, I'll give you all the info at the end. But uh, then we jump into Tetris Effect Connected, which is an add-on to Tetris Effect, and it's now coming for console, like made for console and multiplayer is added now. Mm. Yeah, they've put like a lot of emphasis on like the community. Yeah. Community. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I da- couldn't say the word. Yeah. Tetris cool. Tetris Effect cooler. Woo. So what are you? What are you, guys, are you guys cool with that? Yeah, Tetris yeah. ninety nine looks good. Yeah, Tetris ninety nine. I mean is Tetris. Back. Oh, I mean yeah. Tetris effect. Yeah, Tetris ninety nine. Oh, is back. sorry. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, like, look cool. You know. I like yeah. Tetris. It's, it's yeah. It's uh, Halo Infinite move over. This is the launch title. <laughs> and then um, we got a game that I'm excited for because mm. it reminded me yes. of Luigi's Mansion, the Gunk. The Gunk. The Gunk. With the little vacuum yeah. hand. Yeah, mm. I, I feel like a lot of people are overlooking this. Yeah, this looks like a sleeper hit. It looks cool. Right. The art style was really cool, and it's actually cool to see gameplay in this as well. Yeah, yeah it looks what, like it's what gameplay, I could assume right? was yeah. gameplay. Yeah, she got like yeah. that Buster on. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a big power, like a big power. Like imagine her and Luigi back to back. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying. See, I got, I got more. Um, I know you're washing it in sunshine, but I got mm. more sunshine vibes because it's like gooey gunk, and you're like yeah. sucking it up. Yeah, but yeah, but, cleaning. But yeah, yeah, you're more like cleaning it there. Yeah, like, it's look, cool. you this game in sunshine, you're both more plain in slop, but yeah, but uh, like she's sucking it. You know what I'm saying? 
but the, it, it looks go- really cool. <laughs> with, the va- it, with the vacuum, yeah. This yeah. kind of gives me Journey to the Savage Planet vibes. Yes, yeah. it really does, actually. And I, yeah. um, yeah, I really like that, because I loved Journey of the Savage Planet, so and cool, I, I think I'd like this. Yeah, you said Journey to the Savage Planet, and then she said Journey. I don't know which one it is. And, and she's like, I, and she's like Journey with the Savage Planet. <laughs> journey through the yeah. Savage Planet. Oh damn! All the connective words. But yeah, I, 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 I'm down with the gunk. Oh yeah, mm. the gunk. Give okay. it to us. Yeah, give, we want the gunk. <laughs> Gonna have the gunk. gunk. Oh, Aww. love a bit of gunk. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for gunk. People should be more hyped for the gunk. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Facts. I'm just gonna put out a tweet tonight. The gunk. That's it. Just the gunk. Mm-hmm. But um, then we got the medium, which is exciting. It's from Blue Team. They do Layers of Fear. They do the Blair Witch yeah. game. They're really good uh, horror developers. Yeah. I feel like they always kind of just miss out on greatness, but they're very good. So it's like I'm always excited to see the next game. Mm-hmm. I like the Layers of Fear games. I like what yeah. they do with Blair Witch. I just never hundred percent fall in love with them. But I think they're always they're just so close. And the mm-hmm. medium is interesting. Mm-hmm. This is the one I wrote the they had a tag for it. They called it Dual Reality Gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, and it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like these kind of gimmicky words and things. But look, it does look very unique and cool. I thought it was going to be more of a like a Silent Hilly vibe where you're just you're just playing and you go through a door and then it's a different world. But it looks like you're yeah. playing both sides at the same time. Yeah. Which both um both worlds like coincide yeah. at the same time. I can imagine a lot of anxiety yeah. will come along with something like that. Mm. But um if you can pull it off, that's really cool. But I also think that this kind of screams that kind of thing where it's like it just doesn't hundred percent work. Work. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I am very excited and I hope it does blow me away. Yeah. But um what what did you think about this one, Nick? I, it, uh, like I have a lot of questions for it. I'm like, mm. okay, so you, are you gonna play in a split screen perspective? Do you yes. need co-op? Do you need? Is it like? I don't think it's single. Oh, is it like a way out? Like, do you need two people to operate this and stuff? But it was cool to see like the parallels between like the dark and like mm. the normal world as well. But yeah, so you reckon it'd be a single player? Yeah, I, th- I think it's a single player adventure. I don't think it's like a mm. co-op. I don't. Yeah, it, may, it may have co-op features, but I think. But it's predominantly a single player. Single player yeah. Well, Blue Batim has only made single player games, right? I have to yeah. assume that they yeah. can do This is third person, which is different. So maybe yeah, that's I, 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 like, I like that a yeah. lot. But yeah, it's an interesting. It's interesting enough to me. But yeah, I, I agree. A lot of anxiety-inducing stuff here, yeah. like controlling essentially the same character but through different fields and stuff. It could mm. have made for some good puzzle elements. But yeah, like I wonder how you create level design. I think that must be a struggle, right? Like looking, at, we're watching it now. It's like mm. things are transitioning, and it's like. But like then again, it reminds me of like a weird comparison with like Resident Evil Zero. You change between characters. Yeah. Like it's like, is it that can one stand still yeah. or move Literally the other? What or I that... thought as well, yeah. but or... no, because she's the same girl, mm. so it can't be that. Or would it be like um, kind of that um, dishonored level where you're going through different time? time? But no, but you're as Jade just said, like you one, one moves yeah. the other has to, right? That's right. It kind of yeah. reminds me of a puzzle game that I can't remember the name oh of. You God. know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. You know what I'm feeling? Mm. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? That's right. Not a puzzle game, a level. It reminds me of Captain Toad where you hit the cherry oh, <laughs> and you got to yeah, move the yeah. toads at the so, same so, time. Th- and that's what I was about to walking say. If, if, there's a, if there's a locked door, would she just keep walking, but the dark world one would just mm. keep going forward? Like, or the door. would it just be where you have to press a button to transfer into the other world or something? Yeah, Which, you, yeah, that'd be cool. You just maybe what? Maybe you can like. Maybe she can like with, with like the powers. I mean, she can turn one like off. You know what I mean? Like mm. and they can like <laughs> power down. and just like your power down. Like she, her clothes just are the only thing in there just for. Yeah, just, <laughs> no, I think she just would sift. just like switch and then like in that world, like you saw, like she can cut an opening that maybe wasn't mm. available in the other mm. world, and then you go back and then the. Other but world I think you see them at the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it hurts my brain. I don't mm. really know. But look, as I said, that's a really cool concept, but I wonder how much does it limit, like, the, how much mm. limitations does it put on the gameplay yeah. and structure? But look, hey, that sounds really cool. And it's inter- it definitely was like, oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. I didn't want it, but I'm well, open, we got it. But I'm <laughs> open <laughs> to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm I wanted it. a more straightforward horror experience, but I'm more open yeah. to it. But not only that, it looks uh, less straightforward even in its horror inspiration. Like, yeah. She has like powers in her hands, and with Blue Team, I expected a more just a horror game yeah right but you know what it's good to see them doing something a little bit more different than just you know definitely a, a yeah. walking a, like a, a walking horror sim where you're going through corridors and stuff and yes yada, yada, mm-hmm. a puzzle game to an extent man yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely i thought it was going to feel that silent hill void and it still might True, mm. yeah. maybe playstation would do it yeah, we'll we're waiting we're waiting but yeah other than that i thought it looked really cool really good really, really, really cool. cool and then we got new genesis fantasy star online no, Fantasy Star Online 2. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what this is, but I was like, this looks really cool. It like, like visually looks like Monster Hunter to me. <laughs> Did. But um, yeah. I don't know much about this game. Where was number one? I don't know. 
<laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's in Japan, I think. Yeah, I, I don't it's know. It's got to be a JRPG. I've heard of Fantasy right? Star Online or Fantasy Star. I've heard of Fantasy okay, Star, yeah. but I, I don't know much about this franchise. So you guys in the comments, sound off because I don't think you two know much about it either. Oh no. <laughs> I think it's like an. I, I think this is an expansion of an already pre-existing game. Yeah. Mm. And they're adding all this stuff. They say so that they're the trailer. adding the, the Genesis or whatever the title was. But new gen, new Genesis. New, sorry, yeah, new yeah. Genesis. But also, can we talk about his face? He looks like a. Um, he looks like a. He looks five, but also like. No, what's the game I'm thinking of? He looks 28. like. Twenty-eight. Uh, what's the dragon? He looks like a Dragon Quest character, but in super sci-fi gear. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know I mean? It looks weird as heck to me. I don't like it. I don't really get the. I don't get the five-year-old stuff. I just get. He, I just get. He looks like a like a Dragon Quest character, maybe. Do a zoom bit. in on his face. I will. Yeah, I didn't. He's really just get a baby a, with a dummy. Like, he is. <laughs> I didn't really get a good look. You know. He's I mean? got a baby face. And but, then we got into Splinter Cell, mm. or what I thought. <laughs> Might have been Splinter Cell when I had a quick glance up from my phone. There was a cool tech suit, but it wasn't. Mm. It was Crossfire X, which. It's a can- they're showing off the campaign. I don't really know much about this game, but um, the campaign is done by Remedy, so that's very cool. The people that did Control, mm. but um, yeah, I don't know about this game. It's a terrible title, and it also looks like a hodgepodge of like eight shooters just combined into one, like Call yeah. of Duty mixed with like Splinter Cell mixed with just like let's have Transformer wingsuiting. Like I was so confused yeah. by the trailer. There was like base jumping and wingsuiting, and then like flying helicopters mm. and uh, yeah, cracking into safes and and mm. in into this building. I feel like it's like eight games in one. And it's I'm like Michael confused. Bay the game. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, yes. But it looked good. Like it, it looked cool. visually cool. Yeah, I just don't know right. like what twelve games they've pieced together to make this. It's interesting enough, but yeah. Yeah, it's just like we're gonna splice Crisis with a shooter. And it's yeah, like, right. What, what is that? Oh, is it just a linear Call of Duty shooter mixed with those elements? I'm not 100 percent sure. No but um, idea. funny you say that. Real Crisis vibes, actually. Uh, now you say that. Yeah, just yeah. just an odd kind of game, right? Yeah. It looks like a, a Japanese studio's version of a first-person shooter, in a way, to me. You know, yeah. what I mean? like a, like a hyper tech tech suits and things, but but it's not. It's by Remedy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, interesting. Then obviously we come to an end with Playground Games finally, and we've heard rumors, and the rumors were true. They're working on Fable. Mm. Yeah, not much to say beyond. There's a trailer and the fairy gets eaten by the frog. That was so cool. And yeah. we're excited for Fable to be back. We don't know much beyond that. I now we're under the assumption it's an open world Fable adventure. But um, that's cool. You guys excited for Fable? Yeah. Yeah. I like the visuals. Yeah. It's very pretty. Like you said, there's not much to go on. Like yeah, it yeah, it's like, like a yeah. Even, short CG trailer. Yeah, like an even what it's gonna look like. Like yeah, will look car- very cartoonish, like the old Fables, or yeah, will be like or a hyper realistic. Like yeah. yeah I think it'll have like a fantasy, more, more fantasy vibe, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, playground games make good visuals, so that's one thing you can hope. You can take it to I think play, I think that. playground are the ones that do Forza. Someone correct me if not. They might do trash games. I don't know, hundred percent. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 it. So I'll jump to you, Nick. That was the Xbox games showcase Mm -hmm. what did you think what are your overall thoughts it was all right Uh, it for me personally it didn't hit the heights of the ps5 conference stop comparing them no (laughs) no they need to be compared (laughs) no look it look it was it was fine um we didn't see that many original games we kind of saw like you know say k3 more halos more this more that but yeah that's all right what about you jay um, not all of them were my kind of games, but I really appreciate that in this showcase they kind of did more of an approach of just game after game after game. There was mm. a fair bit of talking every now and yeah, we then. We got some booty. It's got some booty. Got some, got some booty. you know, other other um, developers. But I really, I really enjoyed that they mm. they did, they appreciated our time, and I really appreciated that at two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but I also found some of these games actually kind of exciting and. Um, uh, I'm not like blown away and like in disbelief mm. at the Xbox Series X, but I know that I want to get one for the potential of Xbox Series X. Yeah, I want the Game Pass. Like you know, the, mm. getting the Game Pass mm. yeah. is a really there's a lot of lot of value. Yeah. In that, yeah. Look, I share the same sentiments. I also think there's a lot of expectations when coming into these things, and sure, they were promoting it a ton. Yeah. Oh and, my uh, god, we all got like emails and yeah, stuff from yeah. YouTube. <laughs> but, let, but let's like it, look. They didn't hype it up as much as they did the other one. Oh, and they didn't like, hype the other one up as much. The future of gaming is here. Oh, look at that. Sure. That was a third party presentation. They did. They did like talk yeah. about that before. Yeah. So this is their first party. And look, I agree. I I, I don't think it was. I went in wanting Xbox to have that big swing, right? And oh, yeah. have that claim to the 
t- taking on PlayStation. I don't mm. believe in console wars. I'll buy both of them. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. But as in, they're, they're competing for the same market share at of the course. same so at the you same always time. Have to compare. But it's interesting that this was a different kind of thing, in my opinion. They didn't really throw too many first party big games out there. It doesn't seem like Xbox is really interested in tackling that AAA massive games market anymore. Mm-hmm. It seems like they're kind of going the route of really putting all their chips on Games Pass and making this for consumers and, and cheap and, and accessible and building a like an ecosystem around yeah. Xbox and the brand. And you see that with everything they do, they're interlinking. Xbox uh, Series X games can be played on Xbox One and, and they're, they're all working Microsoft together, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, mm. And you can play them on PC and they're yeah. kind of, there's such a relationship there with all of them. And it's just Xbox Game Showcase. And I think that's going to be the future. I don't think it's going to be like, you're not going to see an Xbox Series X Exclusive games, showcase. exclusive yeah. showcase. No, this is no. Xbox games, right? Yeah, yeah. They, Xbox family games, they're like really the family of Xbox on that, on that yeah. accessibility. Mm. And then what I said to you guys, there was my kind of thing going into it. Are we going to see an Xbox that comes out with something to prove and 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 really goes for this visual fidelity in these massive games, or are we going to see an Xbox that maybe like has lesser things or lesser? I, I don't want to say quality because visuals don't equal quality, but yeah. lesser visual fidelity. And obviously it has more power. And I'm not saying they won't, but just to me it was like kind of, you're getting these smaller kind of things on an Xbox Game Pass, but you're getting them at such yeah. a great deal, right? Yeah. And they're going to build That's off those so things. True. Like Halo Infinite, they've already announced, is going to be like better lighting and updates, and they're going to add content. Mm. And I think it's going to be the same with Forza, and probably the same with Fable. And yeah. it's building this sort of like ecosystem around Xbox, whereas PlayStation kind of just dug their heels into what they do best, which is like, this is the place to play the best games like mm. Spider Man, Ratchet, uh, Demon Souls, the Iconics, uh, whatever else there was, Horizon. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, come for that, and you're going to get uh, whether it be The Last of Us 3 or Ghost of Shima 2 or mm. God of War 5, 2, God of War 2. Sorry, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think it's yeah. like different strategies here, and yeah. maybe I'm wrong in the long run, and I'm, I'm totally open to being wrong. But that's the kind of vibe. So it's like, for me, I do think the presentation was a little bit of a letdown. Like, mm-hmm. I, I can't lie. I, I expected more. And I still think within those limitations, if they set that, not limitations, but if that was the case, I still think, as you said, I would have liked to see newer things. They kind of, Xbox has that tendency, in my opinion, to lean back on franchises that they already know, know and love, yeah. right? Yeah, the and, ones and, that are already popular. Yeah, and sure, you could say PlayStation does again. Yeah, but they reinvented God of War. Spider-Man wasn't a thing to spider-man marvel spider-man command yeah. so it's like yeah. ratchet yeah sure it is a known quantity demon souls mm, uh, you know like it's just in the souls but it's like there is more new things they're building and it looks like ghost of shima is another mm. new franchise they can yeah. add to that state of decay sure but like it's debatable how how qu- high quality those kind of games mm. are but yeah. yeah it seems like a majority of the new ip that they're uh, putting out there is from more indie um third parties that they are uh, building a, a base of games like they really made a point in this mm. uh, saying we have over a hundred plus games that will be on this mm. console at launch mm-hmm. so I think something that they're really focusing on is putting out a plethora of games so that's probably why they're not focusing on the triple A's but that's mm. kind of bizarre to me because prior to that their whole uh, aspect around the selling of the Xbox Series X is how powerful it is and how. Mm. Uh, I don't know if that was true capable. though. I, I, I don't know if that's true though. I do think that that is some sort of fan builder in a true, way. You know true. what I mean? It like I fan think hype. fan yeah. hype has kind of led to like look, look, flops versus your flop. Show us your flop. Let's see your flop. You know what I mean? Like I do think that that to an extent is just like right. not to cut you off, but I think yeah. that that might also be attributed to fan builder. True, yeah, true. true. You know, mm. but but yeah, like I do agree with what you're saying. Even look at the developers. Uh, like although I love them, they're they're getting uh, Ninja Theory. They don't make AAA games. No, the Hellblade isn't AAA. Or the things they make aren't AAA, yeah. but they're great creative games to mm. to build. Uh, an ecosystem for Xbox yeah. that, are, that are different, right? And to put yeah. on Games Pass. Like, and you've got to look at that, right? And exactly. that's the thing. Like, Xbox is going for quantity. It doesn't say they're not going to be quality. It's not that they're sacrificing quantity for mm. quality. But they might be... But that's the extra thing. Extra focusing. They're extra that. focusing on it. And I think they're trying to build that base where it's like, what a deal. How could I not? How could I, how could I not buy it? I'm going to get 100 games. It's like fourteen ninety nine a month or something. Like, mm. Australian dollars. But it's like, yeah, I just feel like they're trying to co-work you into like, come on, come to, come to Xbox because we got like this month to month deal. Play whatever and you want. And it's really good. It's, it's a, a really great. Good deal. It is. A, it is a great smart deal. deal. And but I think how it's do you, enough but, to make people be like, 
I think it is for some. It depends the kind of gaming you are, yeah. right? Yeah, but it's like yeah. for me personally, it's like I can't. I, I went both. But if I had to choose, I'm like I can't give up Spider Man. I can't give yes. up no. Demon's Souls. Yes. I can't give up Horizon. Not because just a name recognition, just because they have proven yeah, to be extremely so quality, quality games. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, but yeah, and visuals. Like yeah, you could you could argue The Last of Us Part Two or or even Ghost on a good screenshot looks better than any of the games shown today. Like I'm not gonna deny that, but yeah. at the same time you gotta let these uh, these games sit. That not a, a lot of these games are not yet early, so, close. Yeah. so it's like I don't want to judge yeah. too much. But I don't think it was a bad showcase. No. I just think that my expectations were a little different. Uh, as I said, the Coalition is a uh, a first party studio that Xbox have. I think it's called mm. no, not the Coalition. They do Gears. I'm forgetting the name. I'm forgetting the name, mm-hmm. uh, the directive or the, or the initiative. Have, the initiative, that's the oh, one. Yeah. You you knew what I was going for. They are this big uh, Xbox sort of uh, first party they've developed, and I, I thought the like the kind of hints that they were gonna uh, be sort of competing with Sony Santa Monica, the God of War developers, and they're yeah. gonna come out with these like AAA games. Mm-hmm. And I just think maybe expectations get away from people, right? Definitely, but yeah. I think it's interesting because I don't 100% know where they're going with Xbox Series X yet. Mm. I still think it's a different kind of vibe than PlayStation 5. They do seem like they're kind of going in different directions besides yeah. not giving a price and having that standoff like that yeah. friggin... Just give us a price. Yeah. I, they're they're, they're uh, yeah. trying to hold, high, like, hold out. Yeah. To Why see is there this price cold war? Like, yeah. Yeah. no one is... Make the move. Well, like, off. I think you, you, you already can see from the vibes, like... Xbox Series X is going to be cheaper. I think they want to they be. They want to yeah. make sure. Yeah. They want to be the cheaper. Sure of it. They want to be consumer friendly. They. they yeah. Yeah. That yeah. seems like their whole goal is accessibility mm. for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I, how could I not? I think PlayStation with their silent stuff was kind of coming off a bit like elitist, but it's like I do think that they put their money where their mouth was in their presentation. I think they right, showed yeah, enough yeah. good games and really great stuff. But yeah, I thought it was a uh, an okay to, to 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 pretty good to good. Yeah, I'm mixed on it because I, I don't know. I don't 100% know. I'm, yeah. I'm a bit mixed on it. You're still thinking. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's interesting oh, well, to see what they're doing. Look, what, put it this way. It wasn't it wasn't one of those conferences where you come out of it being like, well, that was a waste. Like, that yeah, was still no. good. It was the best, best Microsoft conference they've done in the last Yeah, there was good still things to see. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, other than that, though, I thought it was okay. I was a bit disappointed. I want a bit more. Give me Banjo. Give me Banjo Redoey. Banjo Redoey. Banjo- Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I like that. Yeah, Banjo yeah. Ratatouille. Where was Banjo Ratatouille? Where was um Perfect Dark? You know, we got Fable, which was nice, but even mm. then, it was it was pretty vague. Oh yeah, I thought they would have more. I just thought they would have more. Yeah. I wanted to see a little more from them. I thought they would have more and to just said, fire at PlayStation. They Are they holding say, it back? And they did say there's more to come. Yeah, mm. they're doing. Well, a lot but this is their this moment, year, right? That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. This is their moment, in my opinion. You know, the July, it's like the E3 time. Mm. You'd mm. think this is would be the hardest hit of and, the year. And yeah. even with like Halo, they they had him posted over everything. Uh, Master yeah. Chief, not Halo, sorry. They post everything and Twitter and mm. Facebook and, and all their promotion. And I just thought they were going to come out stomping with the uh, Master And even then, I think I was like, okay, Halo Infinite looks good. That's it. Like, I didn't, yeah. I wasn't blown yeah. away by it. And I think that's a disappointing thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like, I just don't think anything blew me away besides some of the trailers are really cool. But most of those ones. The trailers were cool. Like, yeah. that, that, that were CG. Or they were the gunk. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like,. The, yeah, yeah. Hashtag the gunk. Yeah, yeah the gunk is what we're here for. Psychonauts, gunk, Psychonauts gunk 2 gunk. looks amazing. Yes, I, I do, yes. I think that. But yeah. who knows when we're getting that, so. Hmm. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Like, it's been a yeah. long and time. And Avowed right? is interesting. Avowed, Avowed, Avowed yeah. we saw a very, very short snippet of yeah. it, but yeah, it's but, interesting. But, and a, a lot of people, the only thing is I worry there is a lot of people are going to hype it up as like the next Elder Scrolls, but does it come out more like Outer Worlds, which is a smaller version? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So is it, is it a more smaller version to fit the game size model? True. Mm. You know, it's, it's just, these are the questions we have to ask. I just don't think they answered enough in this presentation. Yeah. I still have like, I'm like, I still don't know. Um, I, I still, although I am buying it, whether it be for the channel we do, and, and, and yes. I kind of buy it. I think if you're like more financially pressed or you're not going to buy everything, I don't know if they showed enough to what? jump. Especially, yeah. I would if mm. I wasn't buying it for content or something. I'd be like, I'm just going to pick up an Xbox One and get Game Pass yeah. mm. and just play all the games on Game Pass because most of these are coming to Xbox One. And I think that's the idea that they want you to slowly transition like an iPhone now, right? Mm. Like they'll break your Xbox One. Phil, Phil will jump in your window and smash it up so you have to buy. An Xbox. <laughs> he'll bring the ham- he'll bring the hammer. Yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. yeah. stop bringing back that red ring of death. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, please let us know your thoughts because it's a big thing to unpack. Mm. Um, these two huge consoles mm. just 
showed they're all for right now, and maybe mm. we'll see a bit more later in the year. They showed their flops. They showed yeah. their flops, and they're they had a flop their off. They had a flop off. And yeah. um, so now we need to know your thoughts on their flops. And uh, yeah, but seriously, like, do you think if you're only going to pick up one, which one, mm-hmm. why, what was your motive, what pushed you over the line to one direction or the other? Mm. And yeah, let's keep that conversation going on down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.